Hello, welcome to the Center of Math's Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week. In this week's problem, we're going to be finding a potential function for the conservative vector field um, f of x, y, z uh, equals uh, you know, the following. So um, the first thing that you should note is that a, uh, a potential function for a conservative vector field is, uh, is the function such that, such that f, the small f, the potential function, is equal to the gradient vector of the vector field. Or sorry, the gradient, the gradient vector of the potential function f is equal to the vector field uh, big F. So if that's true, then this x component um, is the partial derivative with respect to x of the potential function. And uh, the y component is uh, with respect to y and the z component with respect to z. So that's what we're going to use to find our potential function. So. Um, first, we know that y times e to the z is equal to the partial derivative of uh, the, pot the potential function f with respect to uh, x. So let's write that down. So that means that if we take the partial derivative, um, or if we, if, we, if we take the partial integral um, with respect to x of y e to the z, then we will get um, a function that uh, is equal to f. So when we do that, we get um, x times y times e to the z um, plus some uh, arbitrary function that's dependent on only y and z. So there's no x's in that term. Um, so now if we take the partial derivative of this, which is equal to f, with respect to y, then we should get something that's equal to this y component. So let's do that next. So now that we've done that, um, we have that the partial derivative of, of f with respect to y, where this, we're using this as, as our potential function f, um, gives us x times e to the z plus the partial derivative of a of y z with respect to y. And uh, so by definition, the partial derivative of, of f with respect to y is equal to this y component. So we can set this equal to each other. And when we look at that, we know that the partial derivative of a with respect to y has to be equal to z. So that means that if we take the integral of, the, of z with respect to y, um, then we get uh, our function a of y, z. So let's do that next. So now we do that, we get um, that a of y, z is equal to y times z plus b of z where b of z is a uh, function that depends only on z, um, doesn't have any y's, doesn't have any x's. So now we know that um, a of y, z is equal to y, z plus b of z. So we can replace this um, with, with this here. So now this is our new, um, our new potential function f. This is what f looks like. And we're going to do the same thing by taking um, the partial derivative of f with respect to z, and we should set it equal to this. So now we have um, x times y times e to the z plus uh, y plus b prime of z. And we know that this um, should be equal to this here. And if that's true, then we know that b prime of z um, is equal to 2z. So. So that means that if we take the integral of 2z with respect to z, then we'll get um, something that's equal to uh, b of z. So we're going to do that next. So if we get that um, b of z is equal to z squared plus c. So we can go ahead and replace this with, replace that with z squared. And now we have um, something that's equal to a, uh, a potential function um, of the vector field. So this is equal to f. So uh, that concludes this week's advanced knowledge poem. Um, make sure you check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and take a look at our blog at centerofmath.org. Thank you.